What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder. It's another Monday morning, and what do we do on Mondays, y'all? We get moving, we get motivated, and we make it happen. Get moving, get motivated, and make it happen. That's what we do on Mondays, y'all. We are here. It's another great Monday morning, and I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go? Let's go. We we getting into it this week. I'm not going to be long today, y'all. Y'all ain't going to like me this week. Fellas, y'all just not going to like me. Let, next week, ladies not going to like me. But this week, the fellas not going to like me because I'm about to dig into it. Because this week, and, and I've been on this i've been wanting to do this for a while and i finally decided to go ahead and do it this week but um y'all know each week i have a a thing that we talk about whether it's uh well dealing with business and entrepreneurship and and this will tie into business and entrepreneurship um as a man this week and then we'll deal with it as a woman next week too but i I had to talk about this because I'm, i'm tired of listening to um uh, to social media, I'm tired of listening to uh, YouTube and, and all of those places that talk about, um, that want to talk about relationships or they want to talk about manhood or womanhood and there's just such miseducation that's going on and it's done by folks that I truly believe and people can agree with me, not agree with me, I really don't care, um, that they don't know what they're talking about, they don't have a clue, they think that they know but they haven't a clue and it and it shows in the way that they're talking about uh things and everybody's entitled to their opinion of course but uh just because you have an opinion doesn't make it doesn't make it right just because you have an opinion doesn't make it wrong but um but this week I'm going to be dealing with the miseducation of manhood just be a man about it or manhood mastery that's what I'm talking about this week and we're going to deal um, cause a couple of weeks ago, I, um, and it'll be coming out this week too, um, or next week, hey, uh, it'll be coming out, um, or it'll be coming on, uh, the 7th of March. So look out for that. Um, I'm going to be on the, uh, Tanya White show so you can check it out. You can check my, um, check my page and you'll see, uh, where to go to in order to be able to listen to it. But we had a, a, a conversation about the power of a man, um, because I do have a book that I wrote, the power of a man, faith, family, finance, and future, where I focused on, uh, us as men and understanding that with the power that we have and walking in that power in our faith in our families, and our finances, and in our future. Um, and we had this conversation, and she asked me this question. She said, what, what's your definition of, of a man? And, and so I talked about this before, and I knew I'd had this series, so I was more than willing to talk about it because it's, I believe it's something that the conversation needs to be had, um, and especially amongst us men, and then also um, for women when I talk about you all next week but I gave her the definition I said here's the 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 quick definition of what a man is to me a man is someone who's mature someone who's accountable someone who's nurturing or the 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 last in um is natural so someone who's mature accountable nurturing or natural that that end can be used for nurturing or natural Uh, and what do i mean these are going to be the what i'm dealing with this week as a man here it is as a man are you mature are you mature enough in order to be able to handle situation circumstances that you that you are put in whether it's it's as an entrepreneur are you mature enough to handle the situation that you're put in are you mature enough to run a business because you have some people that 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 are entrepreneurs men that are entrepreneurs and are very immature very immature and can't handle situations can't handle circumstances that they have to deal with so you've got to sit with that as a as a male there's a difference between a male and a difference between a man a male is someone who is immature Immature in his thinking, immature in his actions, immature in the things that he does. I'm a, someone, a man is someone who is mature. He, he thinks logically. He, he has control of his emotions. 
Notice I said control of his emotions because a lot of times you'll hear, and one of the things that I hear why I had to talk about it was that uh, society wants men to be uh, unemotional, or you're seen as if you are emotional and you are a man, you're seen you're seen as being weak, which is the furthest thing from the truth. Brothers, understand that real men understand what it is to be emotional, at, but to have control of your emotions. And not let your emotions get the best of you or control you. That's what maturity is. So are you mature? Are you able to handle situations and circumstances that that you're going to have to deal with? Because they're going to come things. I don't care if you are, you know, if you're the if if you're a father, if you are just a, a uncle, brother, son. Are you mature enough to handle the situations that you're going to be placed in? See, I want you to, this week, you're going to get, you're going to encounter situations and circumstances, right or wrong. So sit with that, and before you make that decision, before you make that decision, think about it. Think about what's on the other side of that decision that you are about to make. Maybe about a month or so now, um, uh, I was part of a panel that spoke at a um, at, a, at a, a school, and we were talking to ninth through uh, twelfth graders, and and we were talking with them about thirty seconds. Thirty seconds can make or break your life as a man. 30 seconds can make or break your life. Understanding what those 30 seconds can mean. Before you make a decision to do something, take 30 seconds and think about what's on the other side of that decision. Ladies, I'm going to get to y'all next week. But this week, men, I want you to understand that a mature man has the ability to be able to take time to think about his decisions and and act in a mature way and not act in immature way about what he's doing. Yeah, let me give you what immature is is thinking that um, immature is thinking that you as the man it all responsible for paying all the bills. I'm going to say that again. Like I told y'all, y'all ain't going to like me this week. So, fellas, bring it. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Maturity, as a man, you understand that you are not responsible for paying all the bills. What that means is a, a, that you have to be willing to have someone in your life, your wife, and I'm not talking girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. I'm talking husband and wife. Because you shouldn't, you shouldn't be, hopefully, someone that you, that you, you know, that you're just involved with. You shouldn't be paying their bills. That's immaturity as well, too. But maturity is understanding that all of the pressure should not be on you to handle that house. Yes, we are the head of the household. Yes, we are leaders. And they're all of those, all of those things. That's what maturity is, being able to handle that. But also maturity is understanding that within that, that you that you were not you were not built to take care of this all by yourself. That's why God said it is not good for man to be alone. If it was if if it were up to you to take care of everything and do everything, trust and believe. God would not have created Eve. So understand that. Maturity is understanding and being able to handle that. A lot of men can't handle that. Why? Because they feel as if they have to be in control of everything. Yes, I said it. An immature man feels as if he has to be in control of everything. And if you are, if you feel that way, if you feel that you have to be in control of everything, you're not a man. You are immature. You are not acting in a mature manner. Because a real man understands that he does not have to control everything. That's why the lifespan of of specifically black men is, is shorter than 
those of a black woman. Why? Because we take all the stress, we take all of the we take all of those those things on our shoulders. When we shouldn't when we shouldn't or and don't have to. Maturity is taking care of your health. Making sure you get out and walk. Making sure that you exercise. Making sure that you eat right. That's what maturity is. That's what manhood is. That's what being a man is. And you and you have to understand that. That yeah, you okay, you have so many uh, uh fellas out here that want to talk about what real manhood is, but yet, or, or protecting and providing, as y'all know, they that those are the two terms that everybody wants to use, but don't really understand what protecting and providing is, and then don't talk about producing. Protect, provide, and produce. That's what maturity is, brothers, fellas. That's what it is. How are you protecting, how are you providing, and how are you producing? And it's not just in a financial stamp, from a financial standpoint. You have too many brothers out here that want to talk about protecting and providing, and they ain't protecting and providing nothing. Got kids out here who, who one, they don't even claim. Two, you don't even have a, a, an insurance policy on yourself, yet alone have an insurance policy on, on your children. So what are you protecting and what are you providing? That's maturity. It's understanding that. I don't want to hear another brother out here talk about protecting and providing and you're not producing. Or I don't want to hear another brother out here talking about protecting and providing and you don't have a life insurance policy. I don't want to hear another brother out here talking about protecting and providing when you can't even say the last time that you had a physical. That, that's what maturity is. Protecting uh, maturity is more than protecting and providing from a physical standpoint and from a financial standpoint because that's all that's all that seems to be talked about. So this week we're just we're knocking down all of that talk. So this ain't for this ain't for the weak-minded fellas. This is for the mature men. Like I told you, this is about the miseducation of manhood, and we're gonna we gotta break that down and then. Build it back up. That's the only way that it's gonna that that, that true manhood is gonna be able to be brought back. And and, and we want to talk about. I was <laughs> reading. I was watching um, this documentary. Was it a documentary? And they were talking about you know certain NBA player. And I'm not gonna say his name, but if you know the story, you know the story. But this dude one should have been he should be in jail literally should be in jail y'all um because he was 20 years old and was messing with a, a an underage and I'm talking under underage uh, child at the time and this was years ago but not only was he messing with this underage girl and got her pregnant had a child by her but then proceeded to have another several other children by other women. And wasn't what didn't even want to claim several of those children at all. Until years later, he finally I think claimed them. That's not maturity, brothers. That's not maturity at all. If you, if you man enough, or male enough, should I say, to lay down with them, then be man enough to claim them and take care of them. That's what maturity is. You know, we think, uh, unfortunately, males think that maturity is being able to sleep with as many women as you can. That ain't maturity at all. Maturity is saying, hey, I want one woman that I can dedicate my life to and we can spend our life together. We can build a life together. We can create together. Whether it's in, in business, whether it's in, 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 well, business and in your personal life. Someone that you can grow with. Someone that you can, 
can say, hey, you know what, well, let's create some memories. That's what maturity is. That's what manhood is. That's what we're talking about all this week, y'all. I'm gonna be dealing with I'm gonna be dealing with some stuff that I'm gonna I gotta get some stuff off my chest, y'all. Hey Doc, hey Miss LeVar, how you? Hey Tanya. Um but that's what I'm going to be dealing with this week. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this all week because y- y- y'all might not be motiv- <laughs> motivated, but I'm sure we're going to tell the truth because we've got to we've got to get this miseducation of manhood and womanhood um, knocked out because there's just too many things that folks want to let go and say, oh, no, that's just not this and that's just not that. No. It's just just like being a, a mature uh, Christian, being a mature Muslim, being a mature whatever, being mature in what it is and who it is that you are, and having a clear understanding of it. That's what maturity is. Maturity is having a clear understanding of it and being able to, to walk in it. So do you, fellas, have a clear understanding of what manhood is? And then can you walk in it? That means from being on time, showing up at your job, whether if you are the whether you are the the, the an entrepreneur, um, you know CEO, down to a line level employee, do you show up for work on time? Matter of fact, even before time, because there, there was a time where, you know, where there was an understanding that you you know you got up, you went to work, you did what you you know you did what you do, hard work. To be able to make a good living, make a living. Where even that now, it, it, there's no maturity in that. Where folks think that they are entitled to something just because. And, and a lot of a lot of fellas are lazy. A lot of fellas are lazy, and don't want to do the work of a mature man. Don't want to put that time in. They think that oh. You know, uh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to do this or do that. Do you have a plan? What does your next five years look like? As a man, what does your next five years look like? Do you have it planned out? In the next five years, where do you want to be? Tell me what you want. Tell me where you were five years ago and does it look like what you where you are today and then things go you know things things can happen of course you know five years ago we weren't thinking about a pandemic (laughs) but that happened and and we may have to have to reset and do do things but five years from now what does your life look like a mature man can tell you that what his next five years looks like, what his next 10 years looks like. So you got work to do this week. We got work to do this week because you want to be prepared for who it is and and what it is that you want to be five years from now. So we're not playing this week. It's about being mature. It's about being accountable. It's about being nurturing or or, uh, nurturing is about being natural. Being comfortable with who you are. And then the mastery. Manhood mastery. Can you master manhood? Have you mastered manhood? Those are the, those are the questions that we're dealing with this week. Told you. Just be a man about it. Tony Braxton wrote that song and I love that title. Just be a man about it. Manhood mastery. That's what we're dealing with all this week, y'all. We're going we're gonna to dig into it. Fellas, I told you, y'all might not like me this week, but that's all right. <laughs> I'm, a tough, I'm a tough brother. I can handle it. So put that hashtag manhood in, in, the, um, you know, in, the, uh, in, the, in the comment section for me. And, and, and that, way, that way you have a great, great movement going into this week and, and this Wednesday one of the reasons why I wanted to do this because this week um, on on Wednesday um, right here in Baltimore uh, we have a, an, a project organization that's coming here to Baltimore that I'm going to be the chapter director 
Remain, the Remain Project Incorporated. The founder, my brother, Dr. Donald Morton. Brother, I love you. You know, I'm, I'm not able to be there this the, today with you in, in person, but I'm there with you in, in spirit, bro. I know it's not going to be an easy day for you today. So I'm here, and I, I can't wait to see you on Wednesday, bro, to give you that hug. I know you, I know you need right now because it's not easy going through, you know, lo- losing your mom. But the Reman Project, we're talking about manhood, which is where we're dealing with men, the maturity of men here, right here in Baltimore. And, and it's an organization that is, that is uh, purposeful in, and its mission is to assist adult men. Because there's not too many organizations that focus on the true core of who we are as men. And that's what we do at Reman Project. So that's why I'm dealing with this this week. Because uh, this Wednesday, 6 to 8 p.m., we're going to be right here in Baltimore, 3000 Chestnut Avenue. We're going to be introducing the Reman Project to Baltimore, uh, to Baltimore and the things that we're going to be doing uh, right here in Baltimore for the, for the um, you know, for the brothers here in Baltimore. So um, if you're here, just connect with me. Shoot me a, a message here in, uh, in the comment section. Uh, to let me know that you're able to attend because you can go to my page and you'll see the um, the flyers banners uh, so that you can RSVP because it is limited spacing. Uh, so we want to make sure that we know how many folks are going to be coming. Um, but this Wednesday, the Reman Project, but we're dealing with it this week, y'all. I told you I'm coming for you this week, brother. Sisters, I got y'all next week. <laughs> but this week, because we're going to deal with the miseducation of the, of woman, of, of the wom- of womanhood. Just being a woman about it. Hi, Miss Kia. How are you, lady? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for morning, uh, for joining me. Morning blessings to you, too. Um, but just be a man about it, fellas. That's what it is. It's manhood. This, this manhood is no joke. It's not a joke. It's about being mature. It's about being able to handle the situations and obstacles that you encounter. Putting yourself in a position to be able to not only protect and put up, provide, but like I said, that third P is produce. Can you protect? Can you provide? But are you producing? But it's more than just from a financial perspective. It's more than just a financial perspective. It's more than just from a strength, being a big bulky dude. I don't care how big you are. Cancer don't care how big you are. It can take you out. And having having life insurance is a part of maturity, part of manhood. Having a life insurance is part of protecting and providing and producing. So if you ain't got that, if you don't have that in your life and you don't have it for you, you don't have it for your kids. And even if you don't have it for your children's children, you should have it for your children's children. Because that's one of the main ways that the uh, that the Rockefellers made their money. The great, great, great grandfather that started off, he took out an insurance policy on his kids and he took it out on his children's children, his grandchildren. And then every generation after that did the same thing. We've got to start doing the same, brothers. We've got to start thinking in that same mindset. So, I done talked enough for the day. <laughs> it's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr. I got to get inside too, y'all. It's cold out here today. <laughs> it's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the impact builder. We'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a fantastic Monday. Let's move. Let's motivate. Let's make it happen. Move, motivate, make it happen today. I'll talk to y'all soon.